up. Um, it's still acting up a lot to get this point. I might need a new one. But other than that, thank you very much for being here. Give me one second as I start up or set up. Um, good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Mohammed. Uh, good morning, bringing the hotties. Thank you for being here. Hi, Pierre. Hi, TSP. Thank you. Okay, wait, just one second. Okay. Let me pull up my ACOL account. But with that being said, um, I don't know if you were here last week, but you might notice that last week's webinar is this one again. Um, if you were already here, you don't have to stay tuned again because we're going to be going over the same stuff I, I went over last week. It's just at the end of the webinar, my laptop was heating up and it wasn't functioning properly. So it started skipping frames and just unable to process anything. So I just wanted to redo the webinar so that way you guys can get uh, an actual feel of a cool voice slab. But other than that, welcome to the webinar. If you are here for the 500 credits, they will be released at the end of the webinar. Uh, but if it's your first time here, my name is Eugene, and I'm the marketing manager here at ACOL, and I'm thrilled to guide you through today's session. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here every week or maybe uh, every once in a while. I uh, Thank you, thank you. We greatly, immensely appreciate all of you. ACOL, if you haven't used us yet, is the number one AI video generation platform on Surprisingly, I don't know if you've heard, but we placed first on the Inc. 5000 list. And for uh, for um, us in the startup community in the US, this accomplishment is a very big deal. So uh, we are very, very proud to be ranking first on the 5000 list. And our voice lab is the next leap forward in AI-powered voice technology. With Voice Lab, you can instantly clone, customize, and translate voices, making global content creation easier and more authentic than ever. So what you will be experiencing today during our webinar, uh, I'm going to show you how to clone and personalize voices, create realistic studio quality voice clones in seconds, uh, translate across languages. I'm not going to be going over today uh, the translation feature, uh, just because I've went over it already uh, uh, many times, but it's it's just as simple. And then if you have any questions throughout this webinar, I have the webinar opened up on my phone. So just let me know if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to help. All right. Oh, Dr. Ahmed. Does Aikul have child or kids voices? I believe so, actually. Let's let's look at that right now. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And I apologize if I sniffle. Recently, my allergies, I don't know why, but my allergies have been acting up a lot. So... I apologize for that. But if you are new to A Cold, you just come to A Cold and then you will be meeted, you will be greeted with the workspace page. Uh, from here, you can find a voice lab by going to voice. You can click on this voice button right here and you can see a collection of our voices. You can see we have 860 voices, including young voices. Let's listen to some of them. Hi there. This is my voice. I hope it brings. Hi there. This... I hope you can hear it. Let me know if you can't. Uh, let's see. Hi there. This is my voice. I hope it brings. Hi there. This is my voice. I hope it brings something special. There we go. A kid's voice. Perfect. Um, I do know we might have more. It seems like it's a little harder to categorized specifically by kids at the moment. Uh, but I'm sure if you look through it, you will find them. But I'll show you a, a little later how you can find more. So this is a voice lab. If you want to text, if you want to voice clone, you can click on voice clone right here, or you can click on text to voice here. Uh, before I go into that, I will go 
show you that you can also enter voice lab by clicking voice lab here and clicking on one of the provided tools or just view all on AI tools. You can click on for voice and you'll, you'll see our three voice tools. So if you go to voice cloning, it will show this page. You can see at the top, all of the voices that we have. So let's do text to voice first, just so I can show you the voices and the kid's voice that you might be looking for. So first, you have your script. You can type in whatever you want. Uh, one thing I really like about a call is, um, let's see, let's go to translate. If you do hi, my, actually, let's just do, welcome to a call. Let's just do this. If I enter this in and then do French, if I copy this and do this, I can go to voice and you'll see recent voices for the voices that I've created recently or used recently, my voices, voices that I created, and equals voice, the 860 voices that we have. We can filter by gender, by age, by language, by category. Let's do young. And then by language, let's do French. Let's see. Salut. Salut. Voici ma voix. Let's say I like this one. Um, I can choose it. And because I chose French and because I typed in French, if I generate it, the voice will come out in French. Welcome to a... Uh, let's see if I can find it. Bonjour. Oh. Merci beaucoup de vous joindre à moi aujourd'hui. Just like that. So you can do any language. It's very nice. But let's say I just do a simple English language and then equal voices. Let's... Exit out. Let's go back to young. Hi there. Hi there. You just have to play around. Hi there. Go to each Hi one. there. This is. Hi there. This is. Hi there. So this is this my one. voice. Hi there. Hi there. This is my voice. Hi there. This is my voice. Here's another I one. And I'm sure you can find more as long as you scroll through them. So you just pick your voice. And then you have your speed. So this is just how fast you want the script to be. You have stability. The higher it is, the more consistent it will be with the voice, but it will be more monotone. Um, so don't make it too high and lower is better for longer text just because just so it's not as monotone. Uh, but if you make it too low, it won't sound as consistent with the voice that you provided. Similarity is also consistency. So higher, it will be more clearer and uh, similar to the voice that you provided, but it might cause distortion. So you can play around with this as well. And it's style exaggeration. So controls how expressive the voice is. Again, if you want more dramatic voices where that's not as monotone and you want more style, you can increase it um, or just leave it as is. I sometimes like leaving it as is just because sometimes I've noticed that if I increase it too much, it might change the voice a little bit and it might not sound exactly as it was. Uh, but you can always play around with it. I, I think around 25% is fine. Uh, and then speaker boost is it increases voice similarity again, but it will slow down generations. This honestly, just leave it, it's fine. Even with this on, the generation of the voices is really, really fast. So it should not matter. So you can just leave it on and then click generate result. And it will start generating. Oh, look at that. Hi, my name is Eugene. That's so fast. Hi, my name is Eugene. So that is text to speech. And then we have voice clone, one of my favorite parts of voice lab. I love just cloning voices and then just being able to use them. So voice name, of course, you can name it. Um, I'm going to name it Morgan. Uh, you'll understand why in a second. Maybe, maybe you will. But you can record an audio from here. Or you can choose a file. Like so. And maybe you'll recognize his voice. He, it's a very well-known voice. Or maybe you won't. If you don't, it's okay. If you can see, hear, taste, or see. If you know his voice, then you'll understand uh, why I'm trying to copy his voice. It's a very, very nice voice. I wish I sounded like that, but unfortunately not. So we can uh, tag it. So we can tag it by male or female. In this case, it's male. We can tag it by age. I will say he's elderly, style, authoritative, uh, calm, confident. I would say he's confident. I would say he's uh, also authoritative. And the scenario. 
I would say he's narrative and story conversational. You don't have to tag them. You can leave it blank. I just like doing it just so the AI is more focused on these tags and then generate it. Let's see if this is the... Hello, I'm your personalized AI voice. Nice to meet you. I hope my voice brings your content to life. There we go. Oh. I'm not sure why it failed just now. That's weird. I wonder if it has something to do with the tags. Let me try again. Yes, yeah, so we can use famous people's voices. Oh. Interesting. Okay, it might be down for a second. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why it's not working. Um, I literally did this yesterday and it was working completely fine. Here's, but interesting. Okay, it might be down. I think voice cloning might be down for a second. I might need we might I might need to let the team know. Uh, but you get the idea. If it is down when you try it, please let us know so that way we can immediately fix it. In this case, I will immediately let the team know. But last but not least, we have voice changer. It's very similar to text to speech and voice clone in in terms of steps. Record audio or choose a file to drop in, and then. Um, output voice. Of course, you can use any of the voices that we have. We can uh, hear the failed voices that I have, but you can also create a voice using text. So you can give it a name and then give it a prompt. If you don't know what prompt to do, you can always just click on quick pick and it will randomly generate a prompt, such as a young American male with an enthusiastic, confident voice, bright, energetic, and engaging. I like it. So I'll cut, I'll create it. And then it will start generating the voice for me. And it shouldn't take too long. But while it's generating, I will go over the tags or the steps. It's the same thing. So stability for consistency. We have similarity, how similar you want the voice to be. We have style exaggeration, whether you want it more dramatic or faster generation. And speaker boost, I recommend just leaving on. Let's see if it finished. Oh, it's still processing. So once you do that, you can choose a file that you want to change the voice of. Let's see. Hi, my name is Eugene, and this is a test for the A. Cole's voice. Here's, this is just a random audio that I did. And then I went in here, I chose random voices, and you can see that. Hi, my name is Eugene, and this is a test for the A. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is Eugene, and. Hi, my name is Eugene, and this is a test for the. Hi, my name is Eugene. See, and I played around with different voices. Let's see if it's still okay. It seems the server is just a little bit slower today, but I hope you get you get the idea of um, what I am trying to share with you. Usually, when it comes to generating voices, it's almost not instant. I I guess it depends on the plan, the subscription that you have, but it is fairly quick. But for now, it might be just because there are a lot of users using Voice Lab at the moment. Yeah, I hope you are able to find your voices. Okay. That's about wanna, what I wanted to share with you. It's a fairly, fairly quick webinar. As the Voice Lab isn't too hard to use. Okay, I'm going to bring out the Google form. If you give me one second. Through this Google form, you can just let me know that you were here. And as a thank you for participating in this webinar, we will be providing 500 credits. It's almost ready. There we go. Okay. 
So please fill out this Google form. Let us know that you were here. And thank you for being here. Thank you for being in this webinar. I hope I, I hope I can help you get started, or I hope that was um, informational and educational enough to help you get started with the voice lab. And I hope you can create a lot of fun voices. Okay, for the form, I will leave it up for just a few more minutes. Other than that, thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions for me after this webinar, feel free to email us at info at .com. Or join our Discord channel. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.